everyone. Welcome to the stream. We are back here yet again with more Pokemon Coliseum. Hopefully today is the day that we will finally be finishing off this game. Uh, had to do so much grinding. Uh, you know, fighting. We're at the. We're still at the Battle Mountain trying to get everyone up to par right now, and uh, hasn't quite gone so hot yet because uh, things have not quite been in our favor favor just yet. Uh, we're still trying to get the squad up to. Like, I think the final guy was like level 55, 56, so I think we're going to do one more pass on Battle Mountain, or Mount Battle, and uh, hopefully finish the, uh, beat the guy on the 100th floor, and then we'll go back to the story area to um, finish up the game. I mean, hopefully, but I kind of understand how they operate and uh, how we can basically beat them, so. Yeah, right. I'm trying, I promise I am. I think, I don't know. I mean, the posture checks have... Very generic one, but I don't know if people like the game redeem that I put up on there, so. I don't really know what a good baseline for a lot of these redeems are. I actually, I don't know what a normal amount of channel points that, like, uh, not people that aren't to you would have, so. My only point of reference is, uh, I was in a, a Suzuki's chat the other day, or yesterday, and she said she had, like, 7,000, so I was like, maybe 2,000 is not that much, but... I mean, Twitch itself says, like, uh, you get um, 220 per hour or something like that, so. I don't know. I'm, I'm still messing with it, so. I might have to toggle the uh, amounts or whatever, but for now, it's uh, it's a start. Notice that. Oh, Joy? Okay. I was like, is that nefarious, or is that... I don't know. I can't. I can't see my emote sometimes. I guess because of the way I sit, I just kind of sit, kind of facing a little bit away from my monitor, but my second monitor, I should say. I don't know. Maybe I should adjust my setup to where that's not necessary, but I also have to face my mic so I can actually be audible. So anyway, we are going back to this battle mountain because. Uh, it's the only place in this game to freaking grind, and uh, the final boss keeps kicking my ass despite the fact that I have a actual legendary on my team, so. I mean, the XP yields for them are quite annoying to get up, but uh, that did nothing. Holy crap. Are we going to kill this thing? Uh, sure. Maybe this kills. Oh, gotcha. Okay. How'd that thing survive? Oh, you missed you missed Steel Wing. Oh great. <sighs> this game, man. Cool. I love the fact you just did that to my freaking Suicune. Yeah, I've been having a hard time thinking of redeems. I've been browsing like uh, threads where people talk about it and uh I don't know. A lot of them don't really apply too well to, to my uh streams and whatnot, but I mean, I guess I could do, like, more... Once I get, like, the actual, like, uh, integrations, like, with alerts and stuff, I could do something with that. I know people like audio uh, views and stuff like that, but... I haven't done anything with that, so... That might have to wait. I'm still trying to get all the uh, assets I need commissioned and whatnot, so... Trying to get a proper PNG tuber so I can have that for... Uh, Wow, I forgot the word collab. Jeez, I'm losing it. I'm, I'm very tired today, so I'm sorry, but... Yeah, I need, I'm trying to get a PNG tuber, because um, an artist I like is having a sale, and uh, I figured it'd be nice to have for when I... I mean, I think I... I mean, I have the... I'm doing Borderlands again next Tuesday, but... I don't know. I'm trying to be a part of more collabs. Um, not, like, to where I'm going to collab, like, every single stream or anything, but... Just, like, maybe one or two a week if I can. And I figured it'd be a nice thing to have. I know some streamers like to collab like every single week, and that just seems exhausting. I like playing single player games, and I'm going to try and do that. And then there's Town of Salem, which, you know, is always a nightmare to be a part of. Uh, but we kill the Sand Slash in one go? Hopefully. Kill the Sand Slash. I mean, the Sand Slash is probably going to try and use Earthquake. Oh, Crush Claw. You know you... Oh, well, that probably saved me. Should have had its attack, I think. I'm thinking of Crush Oh my, Metal Burb, you are having a bad day today. 
That's the second attack you miss, and this is only battle one. Oh, great. I got the stab boost, because this thing was so easy to kill beforehand. Holy hell. My, oh, Sandstorm. Cool. Forgot about that, honestly. Ooh, Espeon's barely alive. It's probably going to have to get the kill on Relicanth, because this, this freaking Skarmory cannot do anything to save its damn life. Okay. Uh, yes. Kill it! Ah, damn. I probably got to kill it had I done two psychics instead of all the other stuff, but oh well. And it's now faster than my bird because it got the stat up. Damn, dude. I am not a fan of this Pokemon. I'm talking about Relicanth because I have no reliable way to kill it. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Use my overleveled Heracross. We're just going to break this ancient fish with a Brick Break. Actually, I'm trying to think. I guess, uh, okay, so yeah, Saturday I have the Among Us thing. Uh, Tuesday I have Borderlands, and then I think next Saturday I'm doing the uh, Mario Kart collab with the, the people from uh, a month ago. So, there might be some new faces, but it should be a fun time. Definitely need to work on more of my setup stuff, but I don't know. Sometimes, I mean, Mario Kart is just nice to play because you play with real humans is kind of a rarity and not have them absolutely destroy you like they do in Mario Kart Online proper. Oh, you're dead. What'd you look it up? Bye bye. That's that stupid fish gone. Can you stop being annoying, Sand Slash. Oh my god. I'm honestly surprised I'm having so much, so many issues with this game in particular. I feel like I shouldn't be having issues with this game, but it has been thoroughly destroying me in the end game. I mean, I, I think we might be able to do it today, but. Level-wise, we're kind of getting the, everyone up to where the uh, final guys uh, levels are, but... Okay, Heracross. Good. Getting the remaining Pokemon up to par is going to be annoying. I'm not too sure what I have to fight. I haven't even seen the rest of the team. I kind of know one Pokemon that's going to show up at the end, but... Because I was looking up some stuff to see how much more I have left. And uh, I'm basically at the end. I just have to do the final battle. I think a battle after that battle that I'm still stuck on. So I still might be under leveled, honestly. So could be a rough path, and they just wanted to keep me playing this game forever. I don't know what I, what Pokemon game or uh, replacement game I'm gonna play for this whenever I'm done. But thought about playing Scarlet or Violet. Maybe um, what was it? I mean, I do want to play XD Gale of Darkness, but probably not immediately after, because that'd be way too much. Way too much for me to try and do. Oh. Oh, yeah, they like to poison Suriko, and I forgot about that. Could you not? Kill it. Kill it with water, please. Okay, you didn't die. Cool. I feel like my Pokemon just don't do any damn. I mean, we are like five levels below, so I guess that makes sense. Damn, dude. Could you not? The one with the Skulltola tokens. I've never heard of a Pokemon game with Skulltola tokens, but you never know. There could be one. That, there could be a mod of that, honestly. Can we get this bat out of, out of here, please. Ah, uh, you are so obnoxious. Oh, you bastard. Damn. I didn't want to get poisoned here. Get out of here, gold bats. Yeah, this isn't doing nothing. I probably should just use Espeon to take out these things. I mean, I am going to be finishing my... I'm definitely going to finish Twilight Princess on Sunday. There's no question about that. Because I literally only have Hyrule Castle. And that's not going to take much time at all. Um, so I do need another Zelda-esque game to replace it. So I don't know what I'll do there. Go back to one of my old Zelda randos. Start a new one. Or play a different game. I don't know. I mean, I do like the idea of playing Breath of the Wild hard mode. So I might try and do that. But 
Please kill this stupid bat, I'm begging you. There we go. Bye bye, bozo. Okay, you are sufficiently dead. Oh great, another poison type. Would you look at that? Please kill this. I'm begging you, Skarmory. Thank you. Uh, can we kill the muck in one go is the real question. Oh yeah, you did suggest um Donkey Kong 64 a while ago. I guess I could play try something like that. My Nintendo 64 controller is a bit scuffed though. I have a custom joystick on it, but it just I might have to replace it with another joystick I have lying around. Uh we're gonna get rid of you. I think you're gonna be more of a problem. Yeah. I probably should have double tapped the uh, tentacle rule, but I think this should kill. Maybe. Damn it! I should have double tapped. First mistake of Pokemon, not double tapping the kill. Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna hit tentacle again. We're just gonna hit with both hits and hope we get the kill. All right. Going for that poison on Espeon. Love it. Damn, that hurt a lot. Holy crap. Oh, of course it's poison. They're both poison types, so synchronize isn't gonna do anything. Cool. All right, well, Espeon's dead next turn, so I guess we'll hit this, hit this. There's no way both of you guys are gonna miss, right? Damn, dude. We kill this pile of sludge, find out. In worst case, Espeon dies, Heracross comes in, use Earthquake, GG. Probably what's gonna happen, actually. Because he's a oh crit totally matter. Because these obnoxious poison types are uh, doing a great job making sure that I never have a Pokemon that's gonna last uh, past the end of the battle. So, all right, Heracross, time to hard carry. So my uh, we're gonna get to the top of this mountain just fine. What I'm concerned about is how we're gonna beat the final beat the guy because he his team is literally just earthquake spam. So I have to account for that, and I think I have a pretty good strategy on how to do that. Um, it's really dependent on whether or not I'm able to, um, get off my strategy, but. Because all of his Pokemon are, like, flying or levitating, and so you can't spam Earthquake back. And they're able to do a massive amount of damage to you while you kind of just have to take the hits. Yeah, I really wish this was, uh, giving more XP to me, but. I, I mean, my strategy is to use Espeon, put up a barrier immediately, so for the first five turns I won't take a lot of Earthquake damage. But I have to get the kills quick enough to for that to matter. Is SP or um, let's see, Houndoom is weak to ground. Uh, I think everyone else is neutral, but Zuikun's definitely neutral. I could use Skarmory to lower their special defense while I'm doing this. Maybe I'd work a little better. I really have to strategize. This is kind of annoying. Uh, we'll go ahead and do Rain Dance. Oh, you have Thunder Punch. Well, that's scary. Oh, crap. Awesome! You had one of my two weaknesses. I love that for me. Damn, dude. Use for dead skills? Yeah, if only we could t hit him with some of the Sama special. <laughs> yeah, you don't have any moves to use anymore, buddy. Really just use Reflect on me? we like, pretty hard on the AI here. The worst part is that Kadabra has freaking Thunder Punch. That's gonna hit a lot because it's using special attack in this gen, not physical. Uh, Espeon, just help out Suicune, please. There's no way Kadabra's gonna one-shot Suicune. I'd be surprised if it did. Still possible, but I don't think it's gonna one-shot. I wanna believe! Yeah, okay. Suicune's pretty bulky. They're probably gonna try and do they're probably trying to double team Suicune so though. Yeah, of course they are. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? Kill it. Kill it. That's a rain boosted surf. Oh my god, that feels like it did nothing. Uh what do we do to kill? Probably not going to kill, but I have to try. 
Oh, I'll take that. Kadabra is my biggest threat in that kill, so. I might be, well, I think the Grumpig was fat or the, yeah, the Grumpig I think was faster, but. Matang, that's annoying. This, I mean, they seem to have themes here where they're all like type trainers. Like the last guy was the dark guy or the poison guy. Now we have the psychic guy. There's like a fire, grass, water one on the way up too, but. Let's go. Oh wait, these are. Oh, I mean, I could use psychic, but it's kind of a darn shame that uh, the rain's still up. But you know, aside from that, we should be fine. Uh, in case you decide to use something bad for Pound Doom, we're gonna go ahead and use Reflect to lower the damage I take from a, a physical move or physical type move, I should say, because it's Gen Three. Okay, an attack, let's go. Oh my God, I, I the level disadvantage is gonna kill me. Yeah, Psychic's not gonna do anything to Espeon, and uh, oh, using agility, I don't like that. Can I burn it, maybe? We need this rain to go away. I probably should stop casting a rain when this guy's go up. I think I have to gamble. And we're going to get a burn. Oh, yeah. Good thing I used uh, that barrier. <laughs> oh, damn. That is halved. That could have been really bad. I think that might have been a one-shot kill, actually. Okay, you're gone. Bye. Okay, Lunatone. Come on, Skull. Get a burn. Get a burn would be huge. I honestly almost killed. That's what the rain reducing it to. Oh, they don't have Reflect anymore. No more rain, okay. Did they use Reflect on the same turn as rain? There's no way they did. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a hard time killing this Lunatone. Yeah, the Reflect doing work saving Espeon, that's for sure. All right, that's looking pretty good. We can deal with that. Oh, grit. Oh, damn. Okay, that's pretty good, Espeon. You're probably gonna die this Lunatone because the yeah, in this game loves to double team. We should definitely kill with Houndoom now. There we go. There we go. Metal Boy does not like fire. Okay. Uh Oh, you're the annoying one. Forgot about you. All right, fine. Going to make sure that I overkill you for all your worth. Uh, Faint attack, yes. And psychic, because we got to make sure you die. Please die. Oh, you didn't die. I think Houndoom should be fast enough to take you out, though. There's, yeah, I was about to say, there's no way Houndoom's slower in this freaking moon. Thank you, and bye-bye. Alright, that should be a level for Houndoom, thankfully. We're about, we're getting to where we need to be here. I mean, Suicune's still kind of trailing, but it's also a legendary, so the leveling on that is uh, not very easy to grind out, unfortunately. And as far as I know, there's no rare candy in this game, so you could uh, get, get past that little... Uh, obstacle, I'd say, but... Uh, levels. Let's check our levels real quick. So, 52, 54, 55, 54, 55, 56. I mean, Suicune with standing, we're all kind of getting to where we need to be. Like, we're almost ha we almost have everyone to... Hold on, actually. I don't even at 55. We do need to get Espeon up, so we'll take... Pause it. You have the Twisted Spoon. We'll give you the XP share. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I feel like we might need to get Skarmory up one more level too, but... Yeah, Mount Battle has higher level trainers than the actual, like, end game area. It's kind of crazy. Oh, this music's so weird. Oh, is this the... This is the Sun team, isn't it? Okay. We gotta kill this Sun Floor before it sets up, then. Yeah, we're just gonna double team the Sun Flora because I think that'll get us the most kills. Uh, Ice Beam on that one. Drill Peck on that one. Oh, you did it immediately. Cool. 
Well, that's not good. I was not expecting Cast Form to be faster than everything else in this lobby, but or match. And we got a Fire Guy, just lurky on the sidelines. Which I'm not too fond of, but okay, well, uh, you're not dead, as I would have liked you to be. Please kill. Please kill. Good. I'm sure that thing was about to cook a solar beam, but thankfully Sunfloor has pretty crap based stats, so. Thankfully, anyway. Sometimes we're not that lucky, but. Bioplume. Yeah, this thing definitely has solar beams, so we're just going to keep targeting the grass. I'm pretty sure I did this last week, but I'm just going to keep targeting the uh, the grass types. Yep, it has chlorophyll. Well, Sukun's about to take that to the face. Ooh, that's not great. I just have to kill here. Is that going to be on Skarmory? Yes, it sure is. Man, you are super dead. Well, that's not good. See, you've chosen death. I, it might actually kill. Maybe. Nope. Not enough for the one shot kill. Um, I do want Suikun to get some XP here, so what we'll probably do... Uh, we'll switch into Skull, who I think has Flash Fire. And then we'll have... Uh, SV on here, take out the Vile Plume. That seems to be the play that I, the best play I can make right now. And I need to find out how to get money. I think I was supposed to look up how to get money in this game, but I did not. Yeah, Iron Doom can take a Solar Beam, that's no problem. Okay, go ahead and do that, please and thank you. Please kill this obnoxious Chlorophyll Pokemon, thank you. Chlorophyll is a really annoying ability to deal with, but. They often don't have to worry about that, so you go away. Thank you. Uh, Bellossum. Here we are. I think this one also has chlorophyll, though. Oh, yeah, Solar Beam, too. Amazing. Nice. They're trying to kill my Suicune something fierce. Holy crap. All right. Well, I think we need to target. Oh, man. I don't think the cast form is going to kill me. But it very well could. Yeah. We're just going to go for the kill if we can. I mean, Houndoom should definitely kill us. Hyper Beam! Oh, wow. That is an interesting move to have on a Bellossom, especially when it goes off physical attacks at in this gen. A Bellossom is super dead. No more Hawaiian Hula Girl Pokemon. So weird, but Lesson wasn't even in Gen 7, the Hawaiian generation, but... Oh well. Missed opportunity by Nintendo. Just like how they didn't include the Sun and Moon Pokemon in Sun and Moon, but... But they had an event if you transferred a Lunatone or Soul Rock to those games, so... I don't know why they couldn't make that work. Nintendo is very weird with their decision-making process at times, so... Go ahead. Hit it. Bang. It's a hit. God, I wish you. Could, I wish there was a mod in this game that had all the uh, Battle Revolution announcer voices. Uh, say what you will about Battle Revolution, but it had uh, some amazing commentary. Honestly, the English one was pretty good too, because it was actually just the narrator from the Pokemon anime, the one that recently retired whenever um, Ash uh, won the World Championship. Like, that guy was, he, he did the Pokemon anime from, like, 1998 or whatever. It came to the U.S. all the way till, like, last year when Ash, uh, they were finished, they were finishing up dubbing the series with Ash. It's honestly insane he stayed at it with, for, what, 25 years or something? It's honestly crazy, but. But, yeah, he was, he was in Battle Revolution, and he had some pretty good commentary. Like, it, it was pretty damn epic. I know some people will say, like, the Japanese one was way more... I mean, I'm sure the Japanese guy was, like, way more invested emotionally, but this commentary is pretty top, and I, I liked it a lot. Oh, this, this is the water guy. Cool. Man, oh, man. We cannot do anything to this team because my team has a hard... is hard counter by water types because I cannot do anything. All right, we're going to have you use Ice Beam. Uh, we're just going to target the Manton. I remember that being a problem, so we're just going to go straight for the kill. Hope we get free sacks or something. 
Don't die to a brain? What does that mean? Oh, it's raining. Cool. How the hell are you supposed to grind for levels on this game? Man, that hurts a lot. Pokemon aren't high enough levels for this. Uh... That was a double hit, and we didn't even get the full kill there. We're probably gonna miss the kill here. Oh, you're definitely missing. They're definitely killing Skarmory. All right, well, screw you too, I guess. So whatever I send in is gonna have to take the second hit too. Uh, two are weak. One's very fragile. It has to be Heracross, I think. Sorry, buddy. Damn. Could you just, like, let me have this, please? Oh, a crit. I love that for me. The water was already boosting your attack, like, tenfold, but... Or, like, twofold, realistically, but... Well, at least you can came in clutch and killed the Mantine. That's really what I need to go, but... This Seeking isn't really, uh, playing too nice either, unfortunately. We got a level for Espeon. That's good. Untail! I don't really have anything Suikin can do here, re realistically. I do kind of want to get rid of this, uh... Gus isn't going to do anything. Honestly, Surf might be my best bet at this point. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do Mega Horn. Or we would if uh, the Seeking allowed us to go and do anything. Oh, and a crit, doesn't matter. Awesome. Pokemon luck is a very fickle thing. It does not ever seem to want to last, and it's over. I'd tell you, like, where I actually survived last time, that'd be kind of sad, but I feel like it might happen. Because this rain team is... Oh, wow, I got really lucky. This rain team's pretty mean to fight. I mean, they can't really do anything to Suicune, but I can't really do anything to them either, so... Let's get a crit here. Crit hype? Oh, no crit. I tried to manifest it, and the game said no, as it tends to, so yeah, not, not ideal. We're just going to keep doing surfs, and we're going to hopefully get a kill on Seeking. Oh, the Seeking has to swim. Okay, I should have realized that sooner, but... I hope that wasn't a flinch. Oh, God, why? Game. Yeah, we're super dead. Holy crap. I, do they both have Swift Swim? I feel like they might. Yeah, this thing is weak to... Yeah, you're weak to everything, dude. I'm not going to be able to outspeed them, so they're both going to Hydro Pump and Waterfall fall respectively, my Hilo Swine. God, I don't have a shot here. Oh, there's a crit. It's a crit, guys. We got it. All right, man. I'm going to need you to come in clutch and just, like, you know, figure this out because we're not, we don't have a lot of shots otherwise. Dig. Oh, wait, I used Endure. Didn't mean to. Yeah, I've been playing this game for a while. It's a very mean game. This game is hard. Very hard. <laughs> this is like a normal Pokemon game, too. Also, how you doing, Suzuki? Okay? Hopefully having a good day so far. I use Endure, but my Mamoswine, or my Piloswine's still dead, unfortunately. Yeah. Problem is, my Pokemon are super underleveled, and there's really no good way to get XP in this game, so. Or this, or rather, this area that I'm at is the best way to get XP, and you get, like, Next to no XP, so it's kind of rough. 30 minutes of sleep. Damn, I don't know how you can do that, but I'm, do I'm doing pretty well. I I'm actually kind of tired myself, but I got at least like four or five hours of sleep or something. So I guess I'm doing all right on that front, at least. But aside from that, having fun playing Pokemon or in this case, getting destroyed. But, you know, Glad you're doing well despite the lack of sleep, but I hope you get some better sleep tonight. I'm trying to beat this game today, but I don't know if I will. Because I, I, this isn't even the, the final boss area. I'm just getting destroyed by these NPCs, and it's not looking great for my future prospects. Yeah, I definitely will. I don't have anything planned tomorrow, so I... Or I have a couple things planned, but I don't have, like, any, like, work obligations or anything tomorrow, so... I can kind of take it easy, do things at my own pace. But, um, I think, yeah, yeah, no, nothing really, so. Gonna try and play some uh, games with friends tomorrow, but aside from that, uh, nothing too big. But that should be fun. Um, told one of my friends last week I'd play Lethal Company with her, and uh, gonna try and do that. 
And then I have another friend that wants to play Lethal Company on Saturday, so... I think I'm going to try and do both of those. Oh, God. One shot. Cool. Man, we're having a great time here. And, uh, you know, just trying to work on getting assets and stuff for... I, I was trying to get, like, a PNG tuber today because I need it for, like... I don't need it, but I want to get it for the uh, Fugitech reactive stuff, so... And an artist that did my um, my banner art, like... They, they have, like, a sale because they're trying to get, like, a thousand... Uh, a thousand reviews on Etsy, so I was like, why not? Oh, no. They're, they're pretty cool, and they did that art piece in, like, two days flat, which was, I thought was impressive. So, yeah. Just working on stuff in the background. Got two redeems set up today, and, uh, I mean, they're pretty, pretty... Yeah, I wouldn't even say great redeems. I just did the posture check one and one other one. I was like, eh, maybe. Why not? Gotta figure. I, honestly, the hardest part for me is just coming up with actual ideas for the redeems. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh. Now I'm sitting upright in my chair. I don't know how much how well that would work for um a VTuber. I was like, eh, it's something, right? But I appreciate it regardless. That is the first one to be redeemed in this channel. Provided I did just like put it on like an hour or two before I started streaming, so. I feel like a lot of them, though, when I try and get, like, a new um, thing set up, I try to find, like, a good, like, uh, clip art image or something of it, and that takes quite a bit of time to find a decent one that isn't locked by on a paywall. And you're... Oh, not gone. Okay, I thought you were dead. <laughs> Are we gonna... We might actually win. I mean, it's pretty close. We might just win because Suicune's pretty bulky. But Hydro Pump hits pretty hard. Uh, it's gonna it, watch is gonna crit me. Oh my god, we survived. Please, Sui Kun, you gotta come in clutch. <laughs> That's a pretty cool emote. Wow, we actually won that. I thought I thought that I was supposed to I was gonna lose that, but that was damn. Those water types couldn't really kill Sui Kun, like just like I couldn't kill them, but <laughs> that pose is so funny. What is wrong with that pose? It looks like they're just like floating and they have their feet in the air, just like in the fetal position. It's so bizarre. But I mean, this game did come out on the GameCube, so. Those were crazy times for games. This number. Oh, I was 96. Oh, man. We have a bit of a ways to go. I mean, floor 100 is the top of this uh, mountain area, so. Oh, God, not you. You're the self destructing one. Oh, I hate you. No, 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 no. It's a pretty cool console with a lot of cool games. Um, I'm just emulating it, but I do own this game. I bought it a couple years ago, and uh, I think just to show up now. Huh. I have the uh, stream manager up, and it just showed the posture check pop up again. I was like, okay, that's a little weird, but okay. So this guy's going to blow up with that electrode. What am I okay with sacking here? Metal Burb Resist. You're not going to kill my Suicune again. So, Manny, you're taking the hit. Uh, Drill Peck on the Mischievous. But yeah, there's a lot of cool games on it, and uh, honestly, there's a lot of games that I'd never played on the GameCube, so this was bit one of the big ones I'd never played. Oh, wait, you didn't go for the boom immediately? Really? Oh, right, you take, get rid of my Skarmory first. But yeah, this is like one of the like two 3D, fully 3D Pokemon games before, um, how was it? Like the handle, like the 3DS ones or the Switch ones, so. And this is actually like a full-fledged Pokemon game too, and, uh, it's actually pretty hard. Like, it's way harder than any of the main series games, so. I was very surprised at the difficulty curve. And, oh, there it is. Bye-bye. It's all that coming. Oh, you didn't kill, oh, you didn't kill Piloswine. Surprised you didn't. My burb is dead though, and the ghost is immune because it is a ghost type. So <sighs> the strategies they use in this game are pretty mean. They're actually like more competitive Pokemon, uh, which I'm not too familiar with. But they're definitely like a lot. Like the the newer games have like a much the, the, the difficulty is way toned down, so they wouldn't pull like this kind of mean stuff. They usually have like very like easy difficulty, and this game has been proven to be anything but. 
<laughs> I mean, that's that's how a lot of Pokemon goes. It's always just like a lot of a lot of stuffs going on. Just pretty pretty animations, and I mean pretty animations now. Once you get the newer ones, it just kind of what was that? Wait, do you have a move? That, did you have a move that I had? Okay, well, that's fine then. I mean, this this game is. Just, I mean, for a GameCube game, this thing looks really well. I do have like um. I think I have a little bit of upscaling, so it's like shows in 1080p. But but the GameCube was like a 480p console, so it might have looked a little bit uh, less pretty than this. But I still think it looks pretty damn good, though. I mean, Pokemon's really just like trying to hit uh, tie weaknesses and uh, hoping for the best. But uh, can we kill the camera rots? I don't know if we can kill it in one shot. I'll try and kill the Nine Tails, maybe. Oh, that's going to go right into Piloswine. Okay. Bye, Piloswine. You are now extincted again. <laughs> well, that's fun. Bye-bye. Uh, They might have Solar Beam. They have Solar Beam? I don't know. Uh, guess we're going to send out Suicune. Hope for the best. Yeah, it's a very pretty game. And it's honestly pretty easy to emulate. Like, I, you know, I didn't really know much about it, but I know some people don't like emulating because of the legal question. Uh, it's kind of a questionable thing to do, um, but I do own this game physically on disc, so. I bought it, uh, like, 2020 before game collecting went all crazy. Um, got it for relatively cheap, like $60. This game sells for way more than that now, though. Because, like, a lot of the games from this era all of a sudden jumped up because during Corona, a lot of people were buying up games because, you know, there was nothing else to do in the world at that time, so like, eh, just buy some games, why not? But honestly, this game has aged pretty well. I mean, the difficulty is up there, but... And it's gone. It should, like, super kill, I think. Oh, you didn't die, wow. When did you not die for... Oh, the, the sun. The sun. Okay. Well, there goes my doggo. Sorry, Houndoom. You're probably not gonna survive that, because you have, like, no defense. Yeah. Bye, buddy. I say revive after every battle, so. At least in this game. Alright, let's finish this. I think one more surf should do it, and then we'll be on to the next battle. Oh, sun, no more sun. No more sunlight for you, which honestly I'm okay with. That means I can surf without any hesitation. Or just, I guess, uh, brick break the camel. I'm sorry, camel. Or camera up. Forget this thing. And it's down. Okay. I think we have three more in the row at the top again. Honestly, I don't even know how I'm gonna win that battle, because uh the the person at the top uses an annoying strategy where they just spam earthquake, and uh I don't have a lot of ways to get rid of that, so we might uh we might be attending this a couple more times, so. Which you know. Uh, the difficulty part of this game is a real problem because I can't beat the main game, so I'm stuck here grinding until I can. So, all right, you have the Johto starters. I forgot about that. Okay, and you're probably going to. Yeah, you're probably going to target freaking Skarmory immediately. Okay. Uh, Rain Dance because it's going to use a Fire type move. Drill pick on a relegator. Oh no, it's gonna kill me immediately. Bye bye, bird. Yeah, they really want to make sure you're dead. Oh no, you're good. You don't have to apologize for that. I'm not worried about that at all. It's just nice to chat, so thanks for, you know, thinking about me and stopping by. <laughs> I mean, if you have other things to do, feel free. Oh god. Can't imagine any streamer would get mad about that though, but I mean maybe I mean I say that, but they're also I, I don't know I don't know how old the video is, but I saw a video on Twitter recently with uh, a streamer was complaining to her I guess followers for not subbing or something. Like, oh yeah, it costs as much as a cup of coffee and you know being all selfish and you know. Definitely probably made a lot of people not want to support her, but 
I don't know. I'm just grateful to have anyone just kind of jump in, and even more so if they want to chat, so. But you lurkers are cool, too, whoever you might be. I definitely end up with a lot of lurkers more than anything, so. Not that there's anything wrong with that, because I lurk in a lot of streams, too. I only really chat if I, like, know the streamer. Or there's some information I can provide to the streamer. Like, not backseating, but, like, general information, but. Yeah, right. It's kind of weird. Or, it's not weird, it's just messed up. I, I didn't even, I think I watched like one or two. It was like a full minute video, and I think I watched like 20 seconds. Like, yeah, I'm done. I'm not gonna listen to that. <laughs> but it was uh, definitely a kind of a big ol' yikes for me. <laughs> I don't know. Some people are built different in the worst way possible, so. And my kitty cat is dead. Rip. Uh, Eric Ross, come in, friend. Does the Megamium have a grass move? I don't know if it does. I guess we're going to find out if Suicune takes a hit or not. Yeah, right? It kind of just reeks of entitlement, though, you know? Which, you know, if I know anything about content creation, acting like you're entitled to anything is, uh, Definitely not going to earn you favor with the viewers. They're not going to go, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Yes, we will support you, my streamer person. So. Body slam. That's a little annoying. I don't, um, I saw someone on Twitter mention it was like an older video or something. It doesn't make it any better, but you know. But, yeah. Back to the original point, like, yeah. I'm just grateful if anyone wants to stop by and just hang out for a little bit. I don't care if it's like a minute or, you know, a whole stream. It's just cool. Because, I mean, I know there's so many streamers out there and uh, a lot of people competing for time, so. At the end of the day, I'm usually just chilling, playing whatever game I fancy and trying to finish up too so I can start more games. Definitely need to throw in like a chill game, though, because all these like super difficult, stressful games are uh, a bit much at times, so. Okay. Oh, we got two queen up another. Okay, that's good. Yeah, Heracross is going to be super level by the end of this. But I think that's fine. Heracross is pretty strong, so. Probably be pretty good. Uh, let's do another Mega Horn. Hopefully that'll kill. Maybe? Uh, not dead. Oh, man. I don't even know that one streamer's name, but I think it's probably for the best I don't. Because I think I wouldn't even want to go visit them, but I probably wouldn't even find them by chance anyway, so. Okay. But, um, back to your original point. Yeah, Steam has a lot of sales on right now. I still haven't finished shopping on Steam. I bought like three or four games, I think, during the sale, but I'm probably gonna need to go pick up some more because, uh, yeah, I never have enough games in my Steam library just in case, <laughs> especially with the ones that are on sale. Uh, ready to go. Oh, wait, we threw it. Oh, man. I think this guy has the, jo uh, what, not Johto. Uh, Hoenn starters? Yeah. I say guy, but, uh, girl. I just say guy's a general term a lot of times. Blaziken and Sceptile. That's kind of annoying. Uh, they're probably gonna outspeed me and go for Edelburb. Should probably... Kill the, let's kill the lizard. Can. Oh, you're gonna go for the kill? Yeah, sometimes that's just how it is. Just, like, go through the recommended and stuff. Oh, God, you're dead again. It's like the third battle in a row you've died immediately. I mean, for, in my case, I usually just have, like, a pretty big wish list, and then I just uh, go down it, but... it would be a lot harder whenever, um... You don't really know what you want to play, honestly, but... I think what I, what I bought. I bought, like, Game of Life 2... Uh, I think I bought Seven Days to Die. There were like two other random ones I bought. I think I bought like anything that had like a super big discount, but. I can just flamethrower this guy. Rush Claw! That's not great. Wow, you actually went for Houndoom and not Suicune. Interesting. Wonder if that. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, let me check to see if there's another game on sale. I, I'm definitely going to buy Super Mark Sim, probably. Maybe play on stream soon, I don't know. And uh, there was another game that people were saying, like, if you liked uh, Supermarket Sim, there's also a um, gas station simulator, which I guess plays like it a little bit. I don't know, but could be fun, if it, especially if it's only like a couple of bucks right now. Oh, God. Well, you're super dead. Bye bye, Houndoom. Yet again. Uh, uh, yeah, you should be able to kill. Yeah, I mean, I know it's a popular game, and my um, friend who's a Twitch partner suggested that I do not play any, like, uh, super popular games on stream, because, you know, you're competing with a lot of top people for it, but I think every so often it's fine to play a, um, play a popular game. I usually don't let that stop me from playing what I want to play at the end of the day, but it really just depends on if I enjoy the game a lot or not. Because, I mean, most of what I play is not really super popular, but... Town of Salem kind of is, but at the same time, Town of Salem is a weird game because, like, it's it's a game a lot of people like to watch to play, but, like, nobody really streams it that often. Or it's not really a competitive category, at the very least, so. But I enjoy it a lot, so I play it, like, once or twice a week and have fun with it. Muddy water. Oh, I avoided it. Oh, wow. We both avoided it. That's pretty clutch. Okay, we need to kill... Uh, yes, yeah, so we're just gonna double team and hope you play. Oh. You need to kill the Swampert. You need to kill the Blaziken. Oh, I should I should have done Megahorn crap. That's dead, cool. And it's gone. Okay, level 56, let's go, that's good. Erica's almost level 57. Okay, if we can kill the Swampert, then we can ensure they don't hurt us this turn. Hopefully we can. Yeah, Heracross is actually a beast with attack power. And it's down. But yeah, a lot of my recent purchases on Steam were definitely like more multiplayer focus. So I've been buying a lot of multiplayer games that are on sale because I want to eventually play them on stream with other people, but I guess first I have to get more people to play that are willing to play said games, so... But hey, it's a work in progress. Uh, no, oh, no, I should definitely use Brick Break. Hope the Glalie dies. We still have that bird to worry about, but hopefully we can get it down next. Yeah, okay, that's one down. And it's gone. Okay. Alteria is glowing. Oh, he's using Sky Attack. Uh, that's not good. Uh, I don't really have a counter for this, so I might just have to go Mega Horn and hope for the best. I do have. I mean, Heracross is probably super dead regardless, but. We're gonna try and tank it if we can. Critical hit, let's go! Okay. I actually did more than I thought I would for. I guess it is half resist, but. Heracross is probably gonna evaporate and just disintegrate. Oh. Uh, you, you tried Heracross. I mean, that's fair. I mean, most of what I want to play is like party games and stuff, like uh, Game of Life or Mario Party, stuff like that. Stuff you really can't play by yourself, but if it's a single player game, I will play it by myself, so. I don't really play any like super competitive games on stream. I know a lot of VTubers like Valorant, but I don't know. I never really could, uh, or I haven't tried it yet, but. I don't know if it's something I would be able to get into. I just don't know if I'd like it, because, like, if I play the game on stream especially and I just start doing bad, I feel like I'd just get annoyed with the game. Because when I used to play, like, first-person shooters a lot and I was doing had a really bad streak, I would just get annoyed with the game and just stop playing it, so. But, and whenever I'm on stream, I try to be a level-headed individual, and I don't want to... I mean, I used to rage when I played video games, but... I don't really rage that often whenever I play games on stream. Or if I do, it's very light. Like, I don't really, like, you know, cuss people out or say anything offensive. It's just, like, usually just me just saying a light curse word, and that's basically it, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's weird, though, because, like, I play Town of Salem, and there are people that are will, will come in here and go, oh, you're, like, one of the best players I know. It's like, 
there's no way I'm one of the best players. You know, I, there are definitely people that play better than me, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just being hard on myself, so. <laughs> I mean, if I played a first-person shooter, I don't think they'd be that nice to me. They'd probably just come into my, my stream and go, you suck, get out, get out of here. I was like, yeah, I probably do. <laughs> I don't know. I've never really been a fan of super sweaty games. It's probably why I've avoided games like League and whatnot, but... Uh, Magneton. Rawdaunt. I don't have anything good to kill this. Oh, man. Hold on. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's a different concern entirely, huh? I mean, it might be entertaining to watch for a little bit. As long as you can hold yourself back from saying, you know, something too bad. I feel like Valorant's a little bit um, easier to manage. I don't know about League, because I think I've heard League's a whole nother, a whole different level of toxicity, but... At least when I watched two of my uh, mutuals play, they, they seemed like they were doing all right, but... I know, <laughs> I remember one of my one of my uh, mutuals that was playing it, like, she played it for like 20 minutes, and I think stopped because she wasn't doing well, so maybe she just had to stop early so she didn't say something bad. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't really, you know, get the... Uh, Get how those games operate enough to be mad at them, so. But if I got invested, I might, you know. I might be, uh. I'm, I might get heated from it, basically. Does it? Okay, I mean, I, I, I'd believe it. Uh, I have a pile of swine. Oh, you're still digging, great. Uh, to be fair, the Metal Bird was my lead, so. The uh, Metal Bird was who I had at the start there, so. And uh, I don't really have a good safe switch into it, so. I was hoping this, this Magneton was going to be gone, but. I, I've kind of just been mindlessly grinding while talking, so. Because I'm trying to get levels I need to beat the main story here, and uh, I don't quite have them yet, so. I'm literally just, like, going with what I have in the party. Oh, great, Shenanja. I don't have a way to kill that. Oh, hell. Uh, I mean, Houndoom has a way to kill it, but... Oh, why'd you... Whoa, really? Bro, that is... Okay. You actually one-shot my hair across. That is actually infuriating. Okay, then. I guess we're going to be bringing in our good buddy Houndoom to take care of the Shedinja. But yes, Metal Burb was a victim of, uh... Well, all that, uh... Uh, me being lazy. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Chedenja, you're gone with your gimmick. I mean, at least Magneton doesn't have... Oh, wait, does it have Metal Pool at this point? There's no way it has Metal Pool yet. I think it was like a Gen 4 ability, if anything. Probably just has 30? Oh, yeah, you have a hair crust too. I will be lighting that on fire soon. Brick Break. Oh, Houndoom's dead. Ah, can you stop one-shotting my Pokemon, please? I'm actually getting annoyed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to one-shot the, uh... This Crawdon is doing some work on my team. Okay, we're going to do Reflect, because I don't want to get one-shot again. I'm going to get two-shot. I mean, I did kind of want to take a shot on Heracross, because it has a bug move. It has Megahorn. Okay, well, we're dead. Super dead. I thought we were going to tank that, but no. All right. One shot regardless. I guess we could have uh, maybe gotten away with the uh, psychic and killed Heracross, but... It's fine. We have Suicune now. Suicune's just going to surf and GG. This freaking Crawdon, man. It's being a real pain to get rid of. Oh, I was digging on the wrong one. I was digging on the other one. Crab hammer. I really hate this crab hammer. Okay, you get back underground and deal with that. And we... Oh, God. Going after... Going after... I was, oh, oh, God! Another crit? Bro, you need to chill with these crits. That, that hurt a lot. Holy hell. Gonna do nothing to Crawdont. I did... Oh, I should have... Why didn't I use... I should have used Gust. I didn't even think about that. Do I have a potion? Probably not. It doesn't matter. Oh, I guess it does. I don't think I have any potions. Uh, probably not. Because I'm pretty sure I'm, like, dirt poor right now, so I can't afford any potions. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm in eternal poverty right now. It's not great. Okay, new plan. Just on Heracross. Or die. That's fine, too. <laughs> God. There goes my barrier. Come on, file of swine sweep. Let's go. Oh, why couldn't you kill the Crawdon? Did I do a Brainy? I don't even know what you're talking about with the Brainy. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm dead. So, yes, I did die. Came back to me dying to this Moog trainer on the way to the top. You shut up, teacher. What? Where, why are you abandoning your students to be here? Ugh. I, I won last week, too, with lower level Pokemon, but clearly I need to get good here. You guys have, like, actual items I can buy? I don't have a real shop here, do you? Yeah, yeah. Rub it in, why don't you? Having a nice time chatting and grinding and then, well, you know, reality hit, so. And here we are. I gotta go shopping because uh, everything else was uh, not great. Uh, where do we, we're gonna go shopping and have them actually have a good market. I feel like this place is gonna have starter crap. If there's anywhere that has a real shop. I guess the under, maybe, but I don't really want to go the under. Okay, we're just gonna go to Phoenix and hope for the best. Oh, will I find out soon enough? All right. That sounds intimidating, but we need to go shopping, so it doesn't matter. Shop! You guys have some better inventory than... I don't have any money. I probably just got to sell some crap to get the money. Buy. What do you have? Oh, you guys don't have the good po... Ah, oh, damn. Okay, what? Fine. Buy my stuff. Buy. And buy the time flu. Okay. Worth a shop. Nothing. Sell. Buy the Master Ball? Usually you can't do that, so. I literally have nothing to sell for money. Oh my god, this sucks. Wait, wait, can I sell this? Oh, that's easy money. I almost never use these anyway, so. Charcoal. Man, yeah, charcoal's pretty good. Why is charcoal that much, but the uh, soft sand isn't worth it? Sell the, I mean, I'm probably never going to use the elixirs. I really hate having to sell items like this, but I need to buy some potions because not having potions in battle is really going to kill me. All right, uh, I guess we have to go the under then because they don't update the store inventory like they do in mainstream Pokemon games. So here we are having to uh, forage for actually good items. So uh, come on. Uh, the under is probably the best one I can go to. Anyway, we will be going here and going shopping. Ah, oh, great. Gonna make me regret this redeem. Probably Kaizo Mario incoming. Uh, where's the shop here? It's out here, but... Let's go to... Oh yeah, there's still the item over there I never got. I think I'm supposed to get that. Oh, I guess we'll never know, because I'm probably not going to look that up. Oh, here's a shop. I don't know if I ever went in this shop, honestly. But that would require you to give away some of your fortune to make me play that game, so... You have to consider if the pros and cons are worthwhile, so... Uh, we want to do... What's TM14? What's TM14? Is that Ice Beam? That's Ice Beam, isn't it? That's Hyper Beam. That's Slight Screen. That's Protect. Oh, you actually sell good TMs here, but they're so damn expensive. We get money. Okay, have fun, and thanks for stopping by. If you, you know, don't return, but... Either way, hope you enjoy your time. So I can actually buy useful TMs here, but they cost... How do I make this? I probably need to look this up. I think I can actually enter tournaments for money. I might have to do that. Where can you get money?
There's literally a page where it doesn't really say anything. That is the crap. That's such a crap guy. No. Battle Square Coliseums. Oh, wait. Do I actually have to grind this game? Yeah, exactly. That's what I figured. Ace. <laughs> like, there's. I, I went on setting the prize. I was like, there's no way Ace is going to put money toward any of these, so. Um, so yeah, I have to go grind Coliseums if I want to do it. Do we have an amulet coin? I do. No. Oh, wait, I didn't buy any potions the whole reason I came here. Okay, we're gonna buy... It's not gonna let me buy four potions, but actually five. Yep, just barely. We're gonna make this work and try not to use any on the uh, mount battle I'm doing, but. I mean, getting better movesets would definitely be a play, but. Uh. These TMs are so bad. Learn Thief. You can learn Thief. Well, Thief is a special type move, and you don't really have a special set. Oh, I was starting to use TMs while I was in here. Huh. Alright, well. Hey, that's a little archaic, but fine, whatever. Get out of here. Yeah, that's why I'm saying you're basically Scrooge McDuck. You're literally sitting on your channel point fortune, and, uh... I mean, you have so many channel points, but how will anyone know you have channel points if you never spend it? Because, I mean, that's just a number that you see you and you alone see, so. I mean, I, I know because you, you know, you comment when you you hit a landmark, but other people will never know. Uh, we're going back to Mount Battle because grinding is actually... I'm trying to think if I should go try and challenge the guy right now. And the team's looking all right in terms of stats. You know what? I think we're going to go try and fight the Coliseum right now. Because I think that's more fun than trying to do this mount battle for like the umpteenth time. I'm kind of over it at this point, so. I mean, that's fair. That is fair. That is a way you could do it. We're going back here after two or three streams of grinding on Mount Battle, so hopefully this is going to be enough to get us on the fast track to success to beat this damn game. Uh, I think it was... Yeah, board. I think I think my team is high high enough level to beat the game, so that's what we're gonna try and do this so where we can beat this today. Because I would very much like to see the final boss and all that, so I, I could come back and do the mount battle stuff if I want to, but the problem is like the mount battle like leader is like somewhere in the sixties and uh, he's a little harder. The, the guys here are like level fifty five, so I think I have a solid enough team to deal with that, hopefully. Up, up, up. I kind of wish I had played this on my physical GameCube, though, because I have a Japanese copy of Pokemon Box with a Japanese memory card. I kind of want to see if I can pull Pokemon from that and put it on there, but probably not because of the region locks. This is what I would assume, but... Pokemon Box is kind of an interesting game, especially considering how much it goes for, but I actually bought it in Japan for like 500 yen. Kind of crazy. And I only bought it because my friend uh, had the... Uh, U.S. copy of it, and he's like, you should buy that. And I was like, okay, because it's 500 yen. It's like less than five dollars, like 20 plus dollars online. But <laughs> that sounds like a scam. Basically, you, you redeem to show off, and then you like, I refund you the points, and you're like, yeah, I'm a big spender, and then you get your points back. <laughs> uh, what's where does this go? Uh, that's probably the wrong one. I think it's the wrong one. 
Oh wait, there's a. We need to go save in this save room down here in case. I mean, if I fail, then I'm probably gonna want to spawn down there, so that's fine. All right, let's go. Earthquake spam for the win. I should have put proper hold items on. Oh well. We're too far into uh, comments, but here we are yet again at this Coliseum that has thwarted me at least two or three times so far. We're just going to kill. We're not going to try and catch anything. We might try and catch the, the boss Pokemon or whatever, but... God, she does not look like a real person. She looks like she's just... Her eyes are too big. It's very scary. At least, like, the main character has, like, properly proportioned eyes, but, like... I don't know. Why Why is her whole entire eye, like, just iris? Literally just the iris part. That's, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, fair enough. I'm sure you would. <laughs> I guess mods don't have unlimited points, though, huh? I guess they should be able to, like, it's manage the point uh, refunds or whatever, but... There have been other streamer streams where they talk about, like, refunding points, and... You know me, you know I don't know how to do that, so that's be have another thing I'd have to learn how to do, so. Okay. What you got? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Uh I forgot about this song. I don't know. Oh, these are low level! Oh, I'm like so over leveled. Hell yeah, let's go. My training arc was worth something. Hooray! Kill everything, Heracross. Ha, 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 it feels good to be bullying these low levels. Mount Battle sends its regards. Nope on what? Refunding points, or? I mean, I don't know anything about that stuff, so... We got another one. Zangoose. Man, it's so nice to bully low-level low Pokemon again. Been fighting an uphill battle this entire time. We have Heracross and Skarmory up front. Just get him out of the way. Bye-bye. Ooh, you died in one shot. And it's gone. You know, I should have a redeem for like 100,000 points and just go, this is Ace's redeem to show off. <laughs> Ace wants to show off, just call it that. <laughs> I'm sure you never redeem it unless you're like really wanting to show off, but... Oh, they don't have an infinite, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, I guess it makes that makes a lot of sense because, yeah, you, they you already went over, they don't have, a, I guess, a sub privileges or whatever, but... Can I just catch this damn thing get out of the way? Uh, metal sound. Get in the ball. Oh yeah, I forgot I do take damage in these fights. I need to be careful. Uh, I'm just gonna kill it. That's too much of a pain to catch. Or actually, I could throw a great ball, maybe. Could you not hurt my Heracross? I need that to win. I really wish I had better movesets, but I just don't have the TMs, and I'm, you know, kind of in Pokemon poverty, so. Alright, we will be using a Great Ball on this cow. Metal sound. Pop, 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 pop. Get in the ball. Please and thank you. I'm just killing it. I don't want to fight this thing. It's going to be annoying. It's just going to be annoying use Body Slam, and I'm just done. I don't need this Pokemon. It's on an emulator. I'm not going to use it. Whatever. Just go away. All right. You are so dead. You made the mistake of angering me, so bye-bye. Uh, and it's gone. Why does it hold his throat like it's being suffocated? That's a little dark for a Pokemon game, don't you think? Papa. That wasn't supposed to happen, but it did.
Because your Pokemon were pretty terrible. And that, and I've been kind of, you know, grinding up a mountain, killing a bunch of innocent trainers to uh, get to where I am. I like how lifeless our characters look. They're just kind of chilling there. Like, it's very, it's very much a early 2000s idol animation. Not much going on. Like, the PS1, PS2, or PS1, like, uh, N64 didn't really have much idol animation, but... I say that, but Ocarina did. I know for a fact Ocarina did. The idle animation is actually more than probably modern Pokemon, so. At least I would think so. They're across. Metal Burb? Shadow Pokemon that we're not going for because I do not want to waste any more. Oh, Intimidate. You suck. Alright, fine. Earthquake. I mean, we do have levels, so maybe we can get it. That's pretty good. Kill the mighty Yenna. Oh, it didn't. Let me the drill pack, Will. Oh, that's scary. You're going to die immediately because I am not putting up with a swords dance. Absolutely not. Holy. I don't know what we're going to do here. Oh, actually, I do. I don't know. I said that. We're going to kill it. Kill it dead. Kill it fast. And drill pick. Earthquake! Spamming Earthquake is the best strategy ever. Especially when I have a Metal Bird partner that does not get affected. And it's down. And I wish there was a way I could play Battle Revolution on stream, but it's um, it's not like other stadium type games like this. Um, because um, you don't actually get like rental Pokemon or any Pokemon you can use in game. Except for like six that you can kind of trade. But they have a really dumb rental pass system and... Uh, which is it's very unfortunate, because if you don't have a DS game to play with Pokemon on it, it's not a fun game. I mean, I could... Actually, I could check one of my old DS cartridges. Maybe I have a way I can do it, but... It'd be a hard game to stream regardless. But those Colosseums had some very cool challenges attached to them. And I, I would like to do it again. And it's dead. Is this number three? Number I think it's like number three. The fifth one is the boss man we're looking for, the Sephiroth looking guy. I mean, if it's something I can Google, I can figure it out, but if you want to type a quick tutorial, I could, you know, I'm sure I could figure it out. Not that anyone really spends anything, any points for anything super expensive right now. They just, you know, it's hydrate or posh check and that's basically it. I guess if someone wants to do the uh, 2000 one, but most people don't want to, so. At least I would assume no one's going to want to, but... I know there's one guy that's wanted me to play Town of Salem 1. I like one or two people have asked me for that, so maybe they'd redeem it for that, but... But I've also never played Town of Salem 1, so I don't know how well that'd go for me. Probably a lot worse than Town of Salem 2, which, you know, hard to imagine. Oh, oh, we can just one-shot. Cool. Let's do it. Earthquake! Yeah, that Matt Cargo is super dead at four times a week. Yeah, I knew you were going to have a lot of defense, so we're, we're going to get you on a second hit. Don't you worry, Torkoal. And it's down. I love saying that. The way the way the narrator in Battle Revolution says it is just so good. I already caught the Houndoom here, so yeah. They don't have enough, uh, another Pokemon. Earl is down. Bye-bye. Earthquake. Real pick. Man, these fights are so easy now. Maybe my maybe my training arc was for something. I mean, the last fight's going to be a little annoying because he's about on par with my levels now, so. But this part right here is very nice and enjoyable because I'm, I'm actually destroying them. What I don't get, though, this last area, the first trainer has a level 45 Pokemon. But then by the end of this four trainer gauntlet they jumped to level 50 freaking five like why is there such such disparity in the levels that is like some real bad level balance oh there's one more yeah the last peon grunt whatever yeah yeah let's just get you out of the way you can't do anything this is the grass cat uh, grass type guy because it's normal water fire and then i think grass 
chosen to anchor this team because they want to pat out the game, dude. You're not like super elite or whatever. Tropius, Bioplume. I don't know if I can one-shot kill these, but I can certainly try. There's actually a, I can't I can't just earthquake quake spam for one, so I have to use drill peck and mega horn to hopefully get a kill. Oh yeah, Tropius was the shadow on here. Not that I'll catch Tropius, but uh, mega horn on that one, and we're going to drill peck on. That. I should have done the air cutter actually. Kill Heracross. Ooh, crit. Nice. Heracross doing work, as per usual. And it's down. Send out Cradilly. Oh, we're going to definitely smash that with a brick brick. Ooh, that's catching range. If I want to go down that route and make terrible mistakes, but... Oh, it's using fly. That means Heracross is probably dead. Well... Uh, uh, yeah, that should be fine. Brick break! Damn, Heracross, you're getting massive crits here! Heracross has become a killing machine after murdering all those, like, toddler Pokemon on the mountain. Oh, good on you, Heracross. Back turn, you'll probably die to uh, Skarmory, hopefully. I'm, like, having a nice little, like, uh, redemption arc here with, uh, my Pokemon just one-shotting all these Pokemon that gave me so much trouble the first time around. Good on you guys for having a nice little training arc. And while this, you know, flying dinosaur tree thing is here. Wow, you couldn't even kill Heracross. Get wrecked, idiot. Okay. I only have one Ultra Ball. You're not really worth an Ultra Ball, I'd say. But if you want to get in the ball, now is your chance. Take it or leave it, Tropius. If you if you draw first blood, well, you're going to die. Get in the ball. This is your chance. I suggest you take it. Okay, you've chosen death. I don't see that option just yet, but I could just be missing. I did toggle it off of mod mode, but. Oh, wait, no, I was already on mod mode. Never mind. Oh, request you. Oh, wait. Hydrate. Oh, there's a little hydrate stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> okay. So, go here. Oh, wait, I have to reject it? I should probably just do a fight while I'm... Kill the Tropius, and you can kill the Tropius too. Okay. 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 Ah, okay, I gotcha. Okay. Well, that's good, and I know how to do that now. Thank you, Ace. You're always helpful. Okay. I rejected one of the ones that I received, I think, yesterday, but... So, yeah. Now I know how to do that. That's actually pretty easy.
I mean, to be fair, there are a lot of menu options there, so it did take me a minute. I mean, I stopped playing the game for at least a solid 45 seconds to a minute, so. But that is good information to have, especially if I want to have a um, a ring with you being able to show off. <laughs> like Ace wants to show off. Here you go. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Well, we're going to fight this Final Fantasy villain now and hope for the best. Oh, man. Really, this won't be terrible. Oh, God. You look so, like, not human. Oh, yeah, I forgot you start with Gardevoir. I really want to kill this Gardevoir first, because I know it's real nasty if we can't kill it. We have to kill this thing, like, immediately. I wonder if an earthquake would be enough to kill it. No, we're about the same level. Probably not. Megahorn. Drill pick. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it, dead Heracross. Don't fail me now. Good. I forgot the music just dies here. I don't know why it just straight up dies here. This is like the only place the music dies, too. Good. Metal Burb got a level just in time. Blaze again. Ooh, we're going to hit a, a Blaze again with Drill Pack. Let's go. Ooh, you're super dead. Okay, you were definitely a problem last time. And it's gone. That is amazing. Okay. Got anything else? Oh, a Zatu. You had a Zatu? I don't even had that. Confuse Ray. That's a little annoying. And Heracross. Okay. Try again to attack. Um, We want to get a Mega Horn on the Zatu. Oh, I'll do a Drill Pack on the Zatu, too. Ah, damn it. I might need to switch out Heracross. Oh, no. Never mind. Heracross probably dead. Yeah, okay. I wanted to save Heracross because I know the last Pokemon they have is um, kind of annoying to deal with. But uh, we're just going to have to deal with this now. Uh, ghost type means we probably need a Houndoom. Uh. We did a lot. All right. Psychic. Ha! <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked, Bozo. Should kill the ghost. Ghosty boy down. Or ghosty girl. Oh, they didn't one shot? Really? I guess fan attack is a weak attack, so. Ah, you and your confuse rays. The lack of music is actually killing me. Hold on a minute. You're gonna actually make me put some uh, music on here. That's it. There we go. Battle Revolution music. Let's go. This is more hype. It'll be awkward when the music starts playing again, but for now we're good. <laughs> Just stop trying to like super confuse my dog here, please. Oh, let me know if that's too loud, by the way. I don't think it should be, but. Uh, real pick on the wall rain. Ah, damn it. We should turn it down a little bit. Just so it's not overwhelming. Oh my god, you are actually an obnoxious Pokemon. Alright, Skull. You have to. Oh, Destiny Bond, you son of a. Uh, we're gonna wait for that thing to run out of Destiny Bonds. I really do wonder if this boss just has no music. It's so weird if it doesn't.
And if I can get random like narrator cuts while playing this music, it'd be amazing. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, actually, it would have hurt if I didn't switch, but... Can you stop being obnoxious, Dusclops? I'm not giving you a Pokemon. That's two down, and it has three more. So I have to leave that alive until then. Uh, that might be a mistake. Hold on. Let's not do that. Uh, Suicune. We're gonna use Gust on the wall, Rain. Metal Burb, you're going to use Drill Pack. I did nothing. Holy crap. Yeah, Gust on Suicune is not great in this gen. Okay, wall rain down. Dusclops has Destiny Bond still, so that kind of sucks. Metagross, that's going to be annoying. Oh, that's a shadow? Ooh, I kind of want that. Oh, that's scary. We get a, like, a freeze, maybe? No freeze. Yeah, trying to catch this Metagross is going to be a nightmare. I don't know if I can catch it without using a Master Ball. I only have a single Ultra Ball. No! Damn it. I was afraid of Destiny Bond, so I didn't go for the kill. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, crit. Oh, that's actually good. But the Dusclop still survives, which kind of sucks. Now we didn't get the kill yet. This is a pretty slow Pokemon, so I don't think it'll get that off. Hmm. Uh, we can catch the oop, item. No, we're going to be able to catch this Metagross in one freaking attempt. I highly doubt it. Get in the ball, Metagross. Get in the ball, Metagross. Yeah, there's no way. Need Suicune to kill this stupid Dusclops. Oh, good. Good job, Suicune. And it's down. Do, 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 do. Psychic. That's gonna hurt. Oh, actually, didn't hurt too bad. This is the last Pokemon. I can spend a little bit of time here then. Uh, metal sound. Come on. Get in the ball, Metagross. Damn it. This thing's gonna like tear through my team at this rate. I guess I can do that next turn. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, clear body. So we're gonna use a great ball, why not? Get in the ball! Please. Oh, man. Oh! Three shakes and no shot. Come on, now. And this thing's being obnoxious. <laughs> I get wrecked. In the ball, Metagross! Join the squad! 
You're actually more valuable than the uh, Pokemon that I killed earlier. How many times are we gonna have to spend on this? Never all might be worthwhile, but oh, oh, I might die from that. Oh crap, no. Oh god, that might have that might have killed it. Ooh, not yet. It's getting there. Ah, damn. Not liking this. Odds are not looking great here. Maybe. Come on, get in the ball. Get in the ball, Metagross! And catching Pokemon in this game is such a nightmare. I hate this so much. No more shot. Just died. Damn it. All right, screw you, game. Guess I don't get a Metagross. Actual garbage. Trying to catch a Pokemon, give it a self self-destructing move. I love it. We finally done with the music, so let's see if we're... This can't be happening! But it did. That's core. He's the boss. Oh. This little tycoon looking man. Wait, is this the mayor of the town we were in? Yo, know, the mayor's the bad guy. I can't say I didn't see that guy. I didn't see that coming. He, the, the mayor was the bad guy. I guess your name does seem pretty fake. Oh, God. Now you look evil. Can we actually get final boss music? Oh, here we go. Sounds pretty close to like, oh god. Oh god, that's a level jump! Ah, crap. I don't have a way to deal with that, um, Salamence. Great. Heracross, you're not gonna stay in there because that Salamence 100% knows a move that's gonna kill you. Um,. I need a safe switch. Actually, Suicune's probably my safest switch here. Suicune. You're gonna have to try and kill that Machamp as best you can, bud. We're a couple levels down, but if we can get past that, we might have it. Oh, I realize. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Yeah, Heracross would have been super dead to that. And we do have an Intimidate on us, but it might be enough to kill. Not even close. Okay, that's really bad. Ross Chop, also really bad. Miss, miss, miss. Oh, didn't miss. Okay, Ice Beam on the Salamence. You're going to switch to an Espeon. We're going to get a Reflect up. Hopefully we can do that in this turn. Espeon. Dragon Dance, that's scary. Let's get rid of that immediately, please, Sukun. And thank you. Ice Beam! Ice Beam! And it's dead. Good ol' Ice-type gun on the Dragon-types. Love to see it. Scissor. Ah, oh, I do have a Houndoom. Good thing I didn't set up the rain yet. Could you not? Could you not? I mean, you didn't. I'm going to go back to using Surf. We're not going to... Um, we're going to set up Reflect, and that's probably going to be all Espeon's going to do, because that Scissor is definitely going to do something to kill Espeon this turn. We'll do what we can. I feel like we could win this today. That's going to be the plan. We're going to beat the game. Um, I think when I beat the game, I'll probably be done with it, but... I mean, you never know. I could find something to do here. Keep me occupied. But I do kind of want to move on to other games, so... 
If anything, I might just go do mountain battle again until I win, but... Oh, you got the stab boost? Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, that's so bad for me. Oh, thank you. You <laughs> appreciate it. I, need, I did need to hydrate, so... <laughs> And of course, my model glitches out as per usual. Hey, Wisteria, how you doing? Hopefully you're having a good day so far. I'm trying to finish up this game today, but this game, it turns out, is super freaking difficult. So it's looking a little grim, but I have a, I'm a little more confident I can get it done now that I see what we're... Ah, oh, and then I saw that. Earthquake on the Hound Doom's not a great look, but... Yes, I, yes, I do. Because if you don't hydrate me, I probably will not drink water. You killed my Hound Doom in one shot. Oh, that hurts so much. The scissor takes damage too, but. Yeah, I'm real bad about that. Real, real bad. I mean, it's probably the reason I need to make the Hydrate Command in the first place, but. And it's especially bad because I don't really. I talk a lot on stream, so uh, yeah, it's uh, just uh, not good in general, but. Eh, you know, you probably should, because I, yeah. <laughs> I am working on it, so. I'm working on it via the hydrate, but I do need to probably drink water of my own accord, too. Provided I don't really ever stream long enough to where my throat's just that dry, but. Keyboard smash. Oh, you're gonna smash? Okay, I mean, fair. <laughs> I'm, I'm being bullied now. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I'll work on it. <laughs> Oh, the Tyranitar. Ooh, that's a cool Pokemon. Oh, Sandstorm? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Tanker, Tanker's looking out for me. He, he helps me with a lot of streamer stuff, and uh, he's way more knowledgeable than I am, so. That and, well, you know, doing the bonks. <laughs> try and catch this giant Ranitar. I feel like I shouldn't, but you have another... Oh, that's the way the scissor from earlier. Okay. And that is fine. Ow. I like how saying I didn't drink a lot of water just brought you out of lurk mode immediately. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty warranted, but... Uh... Uh, what do we know? You know what? Let's just, let's just get on the next fight. Yeah, yeah, I know you're you're a notorious hoarder. We've been over this. I mean, I didn't have redeems until like a couple of weeks ago, anyway. So, and I just added two more today. I still need to figure out some better redeem ideas. So I probably need to go hang out with other streamers and figure out what they're doing for redeems. Because right now, like, I can't think of anything else that would wouldn't involve me adding like external like audio or picture effects or something. I don't know. I feel like just coming out with good redeems is like the hardest part of it. A lot of it just kind of feels like filler. I know people like text to speech as one, but I guess you need a bot for that or something. I don't know. Oh my god! Can you stop sending out Pokemon? I was kind of hoping this was gonna be over by now, but they keep sending more. I, I think text to speech is great because I've seen it used like in some streams where it's hilarious, but. I just don't know how, if uh, those. I mean, I guess if you have like the proper filters on your chat, they wouldn't. It wouldn't be abused. But I also don't know anything. I'm pretty Twitch illiterate, so I guess that's why I'm overly cautious about everything. But let's do a surf and hope for the best. Um, I don't want to kill the Sloking, honestly. Oh, great! Next attack. We needed that here. Oh, that hurts! Well, there goes my best chance to kill that Sloking. Amazing. You guys are going to kill... Oh, I don't have a lot. Oh, I just realized my options are very thin here. Uh, freaking hell. I might have to revive something. Aerocross might have to be the killer here. I wasn't paying attention as to which Pokemon got that kill either. Uh, my favorite? Uh, I have a couple, actually, but... I'm a big fan of Gallade, Lucario, and Fernape. Um, and I like uh, Gliscor a lot. Axorus is pretty cool. Uh, I think it's some older ones, but... I like Metagross a lot. 
My favorite is Power World. Nintendo's gonna be after you for saying that comment, you know? Hmm. We are going to use a potion because I really don't want to do this again. I've never really, um... For Glaceon, I've never really actually used one in a proper playthrough, so it's a lot harder for me to say whether or not it's a, a good Pokemon to use, but... I should fear you. <laughs> I did... I mean, my favorite Eevee Evolution was um, Vaporeon, and I kind of like Leafeon a lot, too, but... I feel like the internet kind of ruined Vaporeon, so... Anytime Vaporeon is brought up, you get the stupid copy pasta. Oh! Oh, that's terrifying! Oh, God! It just swapped abilities with Slowking. Oh, my... This is a mean strategy. Oh, we gotta kill this thing, like, now. Okay. This thing is gonna, like, one-shot kill if I don't kill it, like, now. Please die. Oh, that's gonna hurt! Okay, didn't kill me. That's good. Oh yeah, I know it's um special attack stats pretty high. Like it's like 110 or something, which is like second highest of the evolutions. But I guess it's just like part of the problem is like a lot of ice types. They're not very. They don't have a lot of good stats to survive more than one hit. Oh my god, you didn't die. No, that's not good. Oh yeah, slacking is or slowking's uh. Oh wow, it's Loki and Saga. I didn't realize the kings are just hanging out. I think the only ice type I've really ever... There's actually two ice types I like using. It's uh, Weavile and uh, Mamoswine. Because those are... I mean, they, they, they have the same issue where they generally can't tank a hit. Mamoswine kind of can, but... Uh, we need to hit this one. Please don't kill. No crits. Oh god, well, okay. That's real bad for me. And I have, uh, you. Uh, I really should have gone for that slacking to ensure it died, but I didn't. And that's going to be something I'm going to regret. Especially now that we have rain here. Uh, yeah, that's real bad. And with that, I have one turn to get this done. Hey, Suicoon. We need to come back to the battlefield. They can't know what I'm going to do, so they're not going to target Suicoon this turn. Slacking shouldn't be faster, I don't think, but... Please, do not end, my, end me here, because I need to make progress. Okay, good, you took that. Good job. Okay, you're loafing. Good. We take that. Okay. You are not going to do anything this turn. You are going to heal Suicune. Because if Suicune dies, this run is over. Please, for the love of everything, let this be it. Do not one-shot my freaking Suicune. Oh, you're going to go for the kill there. Okay, that's fair. I should have enough power to kill these two now. Are you saying that because Mario Kart has the Berlin Wall and Berlin Byways? I think we I think we actually talked about that whenever I was doing the time trials there, but... I think Nintendo said something along the lines of it isn't because people were making theories about it or something. I don't know. People go wow with the smallest bit of lore drops you get. God. Yeah, yeah, so you can't really hurt me and you have uh, Slacking's true and ability now, so... Has ever watched a really slow fight between two Pokemon? Because here we go. Suicune hard carry. And this is going to be abysmally slow. This thing has like so many more levels on me too. So I'm just going to have to keep surfing and hoping it dies eventually. Oh, or a crit. Crits will do it. Really? That sounds like you made it up. That sounds like you made it up so bad. We beat the evil professor, evil mayor. That's apparently evil. What is the ultimate Pokemon? The one I killed like way earlier. Hey, money. The most rare thing in this game. Money. Oh, you're getting arrested. 
Because you're floating in the air on the power of evil. Yeah, people in this game are either normal or just like Final Fantasy evil. There's really no in between here. I mean, I, I don't even know what the reference to that would be, but I, I'm sure I'll go Google it and go, why is Nintendo allowing this to happen or whatever, but. Oh, you brought your level 50 Pikachu that growls like a Geodude for some reason. I like how this guy just hung around for all the proper authorities to get here. You're seeming very, like, Team Rocket-y to me, so uh, you were doomed to failure. Oh, you got your evil Eggman pod. Is Pikachu just gonna thunder it out of the sky? Oh. Oh, I guess ho -Oh did. ho -Oh didn't take too kindly to your stuff. Okay. Holy crap, we actually beat the game today. I really did not think we were going to do it, because this game was... I mean, I guess I didn't beat Mount Battle, but the game is finally over, but... I, you know, I, I'll, I will say the plot wasn't predictable, because I did not think the mayor was going to be the big bad of this game, but... I mean, he was kind of like the mayor of a bandit town, so I guess it kind of tracks, but... Didn't he just have, like, a obviously evil town like Poe Town or something? Yep, ho -Oh is flying away. Bye, ho -Oh. Get out of this game before they try to make you a shadow Pokemon again. Just kind of hanging out here near this criminal organization, but... Well, you have fun, ho -Oh. oh my god, we beat it. I was going to try and keep going till I beat Mount Battle, but I'm glad I didn't do that, because that would have been kind of tiresome. Because that uh, Mount Battle was uh, all kinds of unfair and BS, so... Yeah, they really should have these people make a Pokemon game. Like, um, Scarlet and Violet uh, definitely could learn a thing or two from this game. And it had an actual plot that wasn't like, just go get all the badges, you know? Oh, well. I had a fun time playing it, though. I'll eventually play Gale of Darkness, but I do need a break from Pokemon, so... I say that, but I might... I don't know. I'm going to decide if I'm going to play this again next week and maybe do a little bit of the Mount Battle stuff, but... Hey, Skarmory. Oh, you played it a lot, really? This is actually my first time playing it. I, I own a physical copy of it, but I've never played it, so I'm just playing it now for the first time. And uh, let me let me tell you, I did not expect this game to be so damn difficult. So I was uh, getting a bit destroyed there <laughs> for quite some time. Yeah, listen, i probably not making you feel that old. I'm nostalgic for Nintendo 64 games, so I'm, I'm sure this nostalgia for the GameCube is not that bad. I'm, I can assure you that much. It's like, I, I, I talk about nostalgia for the Nintendo 64, and I see people go like, oh man, the Wii U, that was my childhood. I'm like, oh my god, that hurts to hear. Yeah, Mario Kart 8 is 10 years old in May. It was like May... 24th or something? It was like the end of May 2014, but... Yeah. Oh, God, don't say that. The Xbox 360 is as old as you. Oh, my God. That that aged me, like, so much. Yeah, it was like 2001, so PS2. Oh, God. You, are real, you guys are aging me a lot with that. I mean, how do you think I feel? Like, I remember playing red and blue on the Game Boy in color, so. That should really, that, that makes me feel like a dinosaur. <laughs> I was like, that was peak design, looking at, like, the super, super condensed pixels on a Game Boy screen. That was, like, peak mobile gaming. Now kids have an iPad, and they're just like, their attention's gone. I can't imagine growing up with an iPad. Like, I'm glad I got to grow up with, like, actual handheld consoles, because, you know, handheld consoles are basically dead now, if you don't count the Switch, and, uh, now it's either an iPad or a Switch. Or phone games, which, you know, is not much better than an iPad, so. I mean, yeah, the parents put their kid in front of an iPad, and they're like, why does my kid spend $3,000 on microtransactions? Like, I don't know, maybe because you weren't, you know parenting them and watching what they're spending their money on when you had your payment information on their account. <laughs> it only takes five seconds to set up parental controls, but clearly they're just like, here's the tablet, have fun. I don't know. I, I don't know how I would be raised if I was on a tablet, but I feel like it's just kind of a 
it's not something you can really look back on nostalgically. You can't go, oh yeah, I enjoyed my iPad playing like, uh, I can't even think of a modern mobile game. I only know the ones from the early iPhone era, like Candy Crush and uh, uh, Angry Birds, stuff like that. I guess those are still pretty popular, but you know, that's a that's a that's valid because you know, phones and whatnot uh, definitely I think are to the detriment of their well being, especially in the era of social where social media has really taken over like a lot. Because, you know, some people are like checking their Twitter, Reddit, I guess, TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff all the time. And it's just not good. I mean, I'm, I'm a little guilty of it of Twitter, but that's also because I'm trying to use Twitter more actively, you know, for, for streaming stuff. But cause if, if it was up to me, I wouldn't use Twitter at all because, you know, I'm not a big fan of social media. And uh, it's just a lot of times it's just like a lot of negativity just to include in your life. But sometimes there's a necessary evil element there and that's. That very much falls in that category, so. Yeah, now kids are going to grow up on Netflix, Disney Plus, and all this other stuff and go, man, if only we can get rid of that stuff and not have commercials. Like, oh yeah, commercials cost $30 a month if you don't want them. <laughs> Reminds me of that uh, sort of online abridged uh, episode where they're like, oh yeah, I need the ad blocker DLC. It's like $30. He's like, I'm going to burn this place to the ground. <laughs> Oh, I want to make this. I had produ- uh, was executive producer on this game. That's wild. So watching the credits and the music just died. This game has a 2004. I thought this game came out earlier than that. Okay. Sure, we'll save. Yeah, we'll save. I mean, it is cable, but it's also like split like five, six, probably going to be seven ways here pretty soon once they, you know, remove password sharing on the remaining few services. Why am I here? I didn't ask to be here. I literally just woke up from a drinking binge or something and ended up in this trailer car you call a shop or whatever. Okay, what do you want? Stop. I want to see what this mail says and just get the hell out because, uh, what do you want? What do you want? Shadow Pokemon? Oh, is there a post game for this game? Oh, I might have to come back to this game then. 29 Shadow Pokemon. Okay. Well, I guess that's something we can look forward to. Because I guess I'm not done, so. Of course I'm not going to leave the post game. I mean, I don't know. I did kind of want to move on, but I'm fine with playing this game if it has more content. But I still, I, I mean, it gave me a reason to go beat Mount Battle, because I basically got to the end of Mount Battle last time, and I just never beat it, so. I did get a lot of levels from the, uh, what's it called? Or the, the grind up the the boss there, so. Oh yeah, we'll come back to where, where the hell's the Pokemon? Is it up top? I'm trying to just go save here so I can just have a nice little save point. Where's your? Uh, it should be over here, I think. Nope, I don't know this town at all. Clearly, this is where my journey began and where I murdered my supposed starter in Quilava, and uh, that was all downhill from there. I do not know this town. Please, oh please, it's probably down here, isn't it? I think it was, no, it's down, super down. Cause I thought the Pokemon Center was, or the the market was on the left, but oh, they're both over here. Silly me, why would I ever think otherwise? Symmetry is dead. Yeah. It's like the only place that plays a normal Pokemon Center music too. All right, let's go ahead and save. I guess we'll be back here doing something next week. I don't know. Cause it seems like there's an actual post game. Uh, if there's, if it's like really short, then I could just do the Mount Battle stuff. I don't know. Seems like we have at least one more stream for post-game stuff, so. By the way, had a really fun time playing this game, and uh, I guess it gives us another week to figure out what we're playing next week, or after this game, so. Don't know what the next game I'm going to play once Pokemon Coliseum is done, but. We will figure that out at a later date, but. Yeah, I'm going to end it here for today. Uh, thanks again, everyone who came to watch, whether you watch live or the VOD, appreciate all you. Thanks again to those of you that came to chat, always a pleasure. Uh, if you like to start and follow me on Twitch, feel free to leave a follow. Or subscribe to my YouTube channel, where I upload all the, all the streamer guys as soon as the stream is over. This one will be going live soon. And, um, yeah. Thanks again. Until next time.